What type of chemotherapy am I doing? It's called Pamexitred. The brand name is called Olympta, and it specifically is designed for lung cancer patients that have tumors on the pleura or the outside of the lungs. Now, I don't have lung cancer. I have what's called thymoma, which is a cancer of the thymus gland. Now, five years ago, I had my thymoma removed. Okay, so this is a recurrence, and a recurrence is much more dangerous. And it's much more likely if you had chemotherapy and radiation the first time. So I can't do the same chemotherapy as I did the first time because your tumor learns it and it learns how to resist against it. It actually, tumors will learn to go dormant in the presence of chemotherapy. So you have to wake them up and you do this with a process called fasting. And so I fast for three days every time I get chemotherapy to wake my cancer cells up and make them really hungry so that when that chemotherapy hits my body, they drink it up. And there's a whole big strategy in that that I talk about in another video. But I wanna talk about that chemotherapy because it's the worst part of my month. And if you know somebody going through chemotherapy, you're in a very unique position to offer them a type of grace and a type of love that they may not, they may not be used to. My infusion takes about 15 minutes and I'm very blessed because some of those people are in there for hours getting this medicine. And I feel pretty good, although maybe tired from the fasting, I feel pretty good for about five days. On the fifth day, I can't even begin to tell you what happens. You've never experienced anything like it. I've been through chemotherapy before, and this chemotherapy is nothing like that. Now, that one, the one before had some bad, you know, stuff to it. This one has a different type of bad, and I admit it's not as bad as it was the last time but it's still this pain that I can't explain. I can actually feel the chemotherapy creeping up on my organs and, and almost feels like it's squeezing them. And I know what it is, it's sanitizing my lung pleura and the surrounding organs. It's not smart enough to like know to just target the cancer cells. In fact, I'm not losing my hair because it is a targeted chemotherapy. It targets the organs up here, but it's not so targeted that can only go to the cancer cells. So even standing up is extremely painful because my insides are being eaten. So as long as I'm sort of like in a position, I'm fine. But then the moment you move, it's like, ah, oh, you know, and you got to do this while you're working. You got to do this while you're, you got kids want to throw the football around and, and these different types of things. And that's on day five. On day six, the physical pain starts to go away. It's already peaked, but it's still there. But then the, the mental darkness and the brain fog starts to creep in. And I'll tell you, this brain fog makes me feel, I can't do too many phone calls. It's almost like being high. You're just kind of loopy. You're just kind of like, you know, I'll tell you, I'll be sitting in the living room, so I talk with my wife, perfectly good scenario, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, how long have I been out? It just feels like I, you've been daydreaming for all this time, and is this even real? And then by day eight, well, I'll just say that my last day eight, you know, I, I pretty much turned off all my phones, got off social media, put a blanket over my head, and just wept. And I don't know why, but you do. And I think it's because something's been lost. I think it's out of, uh, you know, in memory of your life before cancer. Because once you've experienced the pain of chemotherapy, whether you live or whether you die, you'll never be the same again.